Jacob, I can't believe I finally get to marry you today. When I think back to that first date together, it just makes me laugh. Who would have thought that those awkward people that went to the movies together would end up getting married today? It's crazy now that we see the bigger picture, just how much God had a hand in bringing us together way before we even met. You are my best friend and the love of my life, and I am so grateful that you came into my life when you did. Today, you become my husband, and I become your wife. We have so many adventures in store for us that will be filled with so much laughter, fun, and sometimes hardship, but I know with you by my side, we will endure whatever life throws our way. You are the man I have been praying for my whole life, and now we become one centered around God. You push me to be a better person, friend, and God follower, all while being the goofiest, most loving person I know. I love you, Jacob David Hernandez. See you at the altar. Brooke, when I first laid eyes on you, I couldn't help but notice three qualities that immediately set you apart. First was your genuine smile, which portrayed self-confidence and inner joy. Second was kindness. Everyone you encounter loves and admires you. Lastly was your obvious love of God. When I realized I had found such a beautiful, kind, genuine, God-fearing woman, my mind was made up and I knew one day you'd be my wife. Since those early days, you've continuously shown yourself to be the most beautiful person on this earth, both inside and out. You're extremely selfless, always wanting to make others happy by putting their wants and needs ahead of your own. You're easygoing and always down for the next adventure, which makes spending each day with you the blessing of a lifetime. Your sense of humor is the ultimate icing on the cake. Not a day goes by that you don't bring me to tears as a result of uncontrollable laughter. Oh, and you think I'm funny too, which is a pleasant surprise. Today we officially embark on our marriage journey, and I'm so lucky to have you by my side to experience every high and every low. The strength and happiness I draw from you will always keep us strong and steady as we encounter everything that comes with married life. You've made me better in every way, and I love everything about you. One phrase from our favorite song best explains my heart. With you, I am. Love, Jacob.
The day that Brooke was born, I realized a depth of love that I've never known before. She stole my heart the moment we made eye contact. And she forever changed me. She gave my life purpose. She gave me the title of dad. For the last 20 plus years, I've been the man in this precious woman's life. I was the first man to hold her, to kiss her, to dance with her, to love her and care for her. And I got to be the hero in her story. I've had the pleasure of watching you grow and develop into an amazing woman of faith, a best friend to so many. I've watched you mature with, into adulthood with pride and now starting a career as a teacher, you've blossomed into an amazing influence for generations to come. And today, my heart is overwhelmed with pride and joy. Pride in the woman that you have become and joyful that you have come to know the warmth and happiness of true love. I'm absolutely certain that you will be a great wife and a fantastic mother. After all, you have learned from the very best. There's an old proverb that says that a woman will seek love and marry a man with similar attributes to her father. I like to believe that this is true. I see myself in Jacob. He's great looking. He, he loves sports. He loves the Lord. And he's intelligent and he has integrity. There is one attribute that I do love the most about you, Jacob. And that is that you are strong. I'm talking about your strength of character. I have no doubt that you love Brooke with all of your heart and that you will work as hard as you can to take care of her, cherish her, and give her a life of happiness. If I did worry about it, I wouldn't be standing here with you right now. And in this exchange, I have gained a wonderful addition to my family, a son whom I love very much. So everybody raise your glass and let's give a toast to Jacob and Brooke. I wish you a very happy marriage, one filled with blessings of God. And I pray that your journey together will always be fulfilling, that you will grow spiritually together and will always follow God's leading in your lives. Salute.